All right, so I was thinking recently about doing de doing alignment design in FreeCAD and some of the original issues that I encountered as I was uh, working with it. Um, and really one of my biggest issues from the get-go was uh, how the alignments jumped around. You know, as I built out an alignment, every time I tangentially constrained a new element to that alignment, the whole thing would, would sort of jump around on me. And that was expected behavior, that's just the way it works, I understand that. And if I wanted to fix it, I had to use like a, a fixed constraint to, to fix it with respect to the origin. Uh, to kind of do this hard lock to the origin, which is an acceptable solution, but in my mind it just it seemed to make things a little complicated. But all the same, it wasn't you know it wasn't a, a solution that couldn't be overcome easily enough. But as I thought about it uh, a little bit more, I figured there might be a little bit better, a little bit more intuitive way to deal with it. And so what I did was I I tried this. I I started a line and I began it at the origin, and I created a uh, created it so that it was vertical and then I drew another line to represent maybe the beginning tangent of my alignment like so and then I constrained the tangent to that vertical line now in terms of transportation engineering all I've done is I have defined the is I have defined the bearing with respect to true north that this uh, alignment begins at and that's not at all a foreign thought to a transportation engineer that's a rather intuitive understandable notion it may not be a common practice in traditional alignment design in, in Autodesk or, or Bentley but you're not really out of line to ask a transportation engineer okay what's the bearing with respect to true north that your alignment is beginning at and the advantage of this approach is is much like fixing this point to the origin using a fixed constraint I've now essentially fixed this in place so that it doesn't move as I apply more elements to it so for example if I take another line and I draw it like so and then I add an arc in between something like that I can then go ahead and constrain the points of my arc to my two tangents and you'll see that as I do the elements that are being constrained move but essentially this original alignment as it is is remaining fixed um, and that is a much more reasonable but reasonable behavior to me than having that alignment uh, move randomly you know or, or jump around the having the whole thing jump around every single time I, I added a new element to the alignment um, down line so uh, in the end, what I end up with, here we go, hang on. So in the end, what I end up with then is, is a much more stable alignment design than what I've had before. Uh, and it really, it behaves quite well. Now if I get real small like this, here I guess we gotta do this, here we go. When I get, get real small on my radius, for example, my the solver starts to wig out on me. Um, but that's not really an issue, again, in terms of transportation engineering largely because when we do alignment design we apply policies that dis determine minimums like minimum radii and minimum uh, tangent lengths and that sort of thing you know policies dictated on the national or on the state government level and given that this you know given that we probably be doing design under a under a predetermined policy in most cases you know those policies would dictate minimum sizes and that would prevent that curve from getting too small and really kind of prevent these solver issues that we can create by getting ridiculously small curves. Uh, but overall, um, this approach of, of, of setting up a true north and, and establishing the, uh, the uh, bearing of the alignment with respect to that true north really seems to be a nice intuitive way to kind of help lock things down and control that, uh, control that erratic jumping that occurs when we build out the alignment and apply new elements to it. So anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate that real quick. I thought that was kind of an uh, kind of a neat solution to that little problem uh, that makes good intuitive sense from a transportation engineering perspective.